So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here and uh, in today's video I wanted to show you a couple alternatives to ES File Explorer. A couple weeks ago I did a video telling you guys that ES File Explorer has been removed from the Google Play Store and the reason behind that is that they were caught red handed basically clicking ads in the background generating revenue and when Google got a hold of this they went ahead and banned them from the Play Store. Now having said that you can still get APK from a lot of places guys. Uh, also have it in my filing store if you guys want to go ahead and use that. More concerned is that if they're doing that in the background what else could they be doing um, on your system so for a lot of you guys that was enough to make you move away from ES File Explorer now in today's video I want to show you guys three solid alternatives to ES File Explorer and definitely want to hear your opinion on this one please drop a comment in the comment section below let me know which one is your favorite so let's go ahead and jump into it <laughs> Now, of course you guys are new to the channel please smash the subscribe button in the top right show your support by hitting the thumbs up on this video and share these videos if you think they might help someone else so i'm not going to keep you guys much longer here's the interface of es file explorer I know a lot of you guys are actually used to this you prefer it and i do still love the interface now with the concerns that i mentioned earlier a lot of people just completely uninstall it so they're not using es file explorer anymore three alternatives we have the fx explorer we have solid explorer we also have the explore and all three of these can be found in your google play store so let's go ahead and we're going to start out with the fx explorer and like i said at the end of this video please drop a comment in the comment section below let me know which one is your favorite so let's go ahead and launch fx so here's the main interface guys from the left panel you can see you have the option to search if you click on more options you can connect to a storage you can mount eject storage file system you can customize so you can customize your home your theme uh, display as you can show grid icons so you guys can make a lot of changes on here a lot of options to personalize this how you want it now below that you have your open window so right now we do have home which is open but you can go ahead and select a new window so click on that and that actually just started a new window in the background so for instance if I went to storage here you can see it went to storage and that makes it easy to switch back and forth between the windows that you have running in the background now alternatively what you can do is do a split screen guys so if you hit split screen now you have two windows open at the same time and this is very useful so for instance if I went to my main storage here let's go to my downloads I will have some stuff in there and let's say I wanted to just copy and paste something from here to here very easy to do so let's just um Let's just go to pictures. I know it doesn't belong there. And let's say I wanted to copy the BTV APK. All I have to do is click on select, select BTV, click copy. Now I'll go to the second area, which is right here. I'm gonna go to clipboard, paste. And you can see copy the file over in no time, guys. So this is very easy to use. The interface looks nice. Like I said, it does work for most of the things you want it to do. Now over to the settings. So do have some options you can upgrade uh, to the plus version it allows you to add cloud storage, network media, web access, FX connect, device to device sharing. So you do have a lot of flexibility if you go ahead and upgrade guys. And I think most of these do have a premium service if you guys want to upgrade and get more features from these applications. So that was the FX Explorer. Let me know what you guys think. Next one is a solid Explorer. Now this one been requested by a lot of folks. So solid Explorer, it looks similar. It has a similar theme to ES File Explorer. And if you click right here on the main menu, you can see you have all your options here. So right now I am in a trial period, look like it's 13 days. So it will go to limited functionality once that trial period is up. So I do have my network attached storage attached to my NVIDIA Shield and it automatically detect those drives. So you can see these uh, two terabyte hard drives here and those are all showing up. Now this is set up in a RAID configuration. So this is how it shows up on here. Just so you guys know, it doesn't show up as one single drive. So I can click on individual files and it does start up in a split screen configuration. We're gonna select our SD card. All right, DCIM. We're gonna select downloads again from here. You can see all the APKs over here. So I went ahead and changed up the, the screens a little bit just to show you guys how easy it is to copy from point A to B. Whether you're copying from your device to a network storage or from your device to a cloud storage, it's as easy as drag and drop. So drop it there and it gives you two options. You can either copy, which essentially makes an exact copy of the APK. So if you want to keep it in both locations, that option is there for you. Or you can move, which will essentially move it from point A to point B. So for this, I'm just going to copy it. 
and there we go and that's how easy it is so let's scroll down a little bit more guys so um, bookmarks and show that my downloads is bookmarked recent files photos music videos documents and so on and so forth and at the bottom you do have the option to hide your folder and what that does is just makes the folder invisible and to access that folder all you need to do is go to hidden folders and it will show up there if you do decide to go ahead and hide now if you click on the settings you do have theme options primary color secondary colors uh, you can change the view change the security you can change the startup behavior so if you guys don't want it in split screen you can go ahead and do so so a lot of options as well to customize this now another thing that's very cool about this application guys you notice the plus button on both screens uh, if you hit it you do have the option to create a folder the new file or you have the option to connect to a new cloud connection so if you click on that you can see you have a lot of options here so if you guys want to link your google drive your dropbox your OneDrive, if you guys want to link your storage your network drive so if you guys have a network to test storage or something like that you can go ahead and select here and you can put an ip address and authenticate that way now, now below that you have ftp sfftp you do have web dev box media fire um, sugar sync and you do have the option to go ahead and download more so that was a quick look at Solid Explorer. A lot of packed in feature might be overkill for some people, but for you guys that want those advanced options, it is there for you. So drop a comment, let me know what you guys think of Solid Explorer. Now over to Explorer. Now Explorer is a lot more um, graphically intensive. It looks beautiful, a lot going on. So let me go ahead and try to run through it for you. So you do have the option to expand your folder here, guys. And to go ahead and get it back to the root, all you have to do is just click on the up directory and it will go ahead and minimize it now you can see right here i'm on usb drive this also picks up everything from my network attached storage guys so from here you can see i have my uh, documents i do have my plex folder right here all right and this is all coming from my network attached storage it's a 14 terabyte storage if i hit the drop down you can see some of the folder options there so i'm going to minimize that this is my plex storage so let's go ahead and launch that there's my plex library there is everything in my Plex library, guys, my movies, my music, and so on and so forth. So if I want to see my movies, I can go ahead and check it out. So let's go to my comedy, and there they all go. So let's see if I can play directly from the Explorer. And how cool is that, guys? You can browse your content directly, and you can play from here if you choose to do so. You do have LAN options again, FTP, web storage. SSH, Wi-Fi sharing as well. A lot of features built in and in the main menu, for instance, I do have BTV right here. Do have the option to um, rename it. I can copy it to the clipboard. I can copy it. I can create zip, delete it, new folder, Wi-Fi, new text file, sort by, find, configuration options, configuration button. So they do have a lot of options to customize this as well. And like I said, this is another great alternative to ES File Explorer if you guys are in the market for a new file explorer for your device. So that's it for this video. Definitely didn't want to hear your thought on these three alternatives to your es file explorer if you guys are currently using one of them let me know which one if you guys prefer one over the other let me know as well as far as installing apks i know es file explorer does have an option where you can go to a web browser but essentially you can do that with the puffin browser as well all you need to do is download it from the google play store go to the url and you can go ahead and install your apks that way and if you guys haven't done so already i did a video a couple days ago showing you how to use send anywhere send anywhere is basically a file transferring um, service that allows you to send file from any device whether it's android or pc android or android so you can essentially send apks from your fire stick to your nvidia shield or the other way around and this makes it easier to get those apps that's hard to find on your particular device so if you guys have any questions about this let me know if you haven't done so already please hit the subscribe button hit that thumbs up on this video thank you guys for watching again and i'll catch you on the next one